Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Anna and today along with Kate we're going to be taking a look at the best sports bras for runners. Yes, we've got a wide range of sports bras to go through and we're going to be focusing on those with medium to high impact support. That's those that you need to run comfortably. And we're also going to take a look at bras that have been specially designed for women who've had mastectomies and also for pregnant and breastfeeding runners. We don't get paid by the brands to say nice things about their products, so you can guarantee that these are mine and Kate's genuine opinions. I'm going to kick things off with some top tips on how to find the perfect fit for your sports bra. And if you happen to have had a mastectomy and are struggling to find something that works for you, we've also got some top tips from a special guest coming up too. Before we dive in though, please do hit subscribe and tap that bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running, which we do every week. So before we look at the sports bras, we're going to take a look at how to find the best fit. Now, with the COVID pandemic, with lots of shops shut, it's not always been possible to get a fitting in person. So I caught up with Mari Thomas, founder of Mari Sports Bras, who's given us some top tips on how to measure at home. So I'm really excited to, uh, to meet you and to hear all about um, what you do and what we're going to be doing today. So um, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course, yeah, thanks so much for having me because yeah, I mean, sports bras has always been an absolute passion of mine. Um, that is my background. I used to um, test sports bras under lab conditions um, at Loughborough University and I'm a keen sports woman myself. So uh, I like to play hockey and, and I, I do a bit of running too. And uh, but yeah, basically I always used to kind of get confused as to why people used to come with me, come to me and say, oh, I'm looking to reduce downward motion by X percent or by X centimeters or it's like, well, your, your boobs move in every direction, you know? <laughs> so why are we always concentrating on downward motion? So, you know, I used to be out running and think to myself, if I just place my hands here, now this bra is perfect, you know? <laughs> yeah. I see there's something over the top there. Instead of, you know, I can't really run like this. So... <laughs> yeah. Need your arms. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> just to go that little bit faster, you know? <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I literally went to... Um, a charity shop and got some belts and some old bras and stuff and kind of sewed it together myself as to like the solution I had in my head. And when I went out for a run with it, and I realized how, like, how much of a difference it made, like with even, without even all the testing and, you know, uh, that I could have done on it. But now I realized that there's definitely something in there. So that's when I kind of decided, right, I'm going to stop waiting for someone to bring out my perfect bra and I'm going to do it myself. And there's a really um, surprising statistic as well about how many women are wearing the wrong size bras because we just 80%. don't know. 80%. 80%, yeah. So, yes. Um, so, uh, you're doing sort of online virtual fitting um, instructions now. Absolutely, yeah. Because mainly it came around because of lockdown because you can't reach people, but you still want to help people get the right size. So that's kind of how this idea was born. And, just been so great and it does also confirm that 80 percent stat because i think yeah again 80 percent of people have to change the size that they think that they are when they come on the call with me so when we measure them out they're surprised that they actually might need to be smaller on the underband for example or or bigger in the cup so yeah it's it's it can vary so if you want to take the tape measure and uh this, you, oh yeah your your your, your string <laughs> sorry and yeah if you want to put it the whole way around your body on top of where your underband would be or just underneath kind of where your breast tissue finishes so just underneath there and you want to pull it all the way around and then you want to give it just a nice little tug at the edge to make sure it's nice and tight um but you still breathe it on so then yeah you take that off and then measure it against your tape measure in inches and then let me know what you are getting as a measurement then 31 31 excellent and then we'll do the same thing again but this time around the fullest part of your chest but you don't want to pull this one too tight because we can very easily change the, the shape of this part of the body. 36. 36, excellent. So as your first measurement was a 31 and your second measurement is a 36, the difference between those is five inches. Yeah. So how we calculate the cup is the difference in the inches. So if it was a difference of one, it would be an A, two, B, three, C, four, D, five, double D. So that is your size. That's how we calculate the cup. And that's another big misconception in bra sizing is that people think that the letter on your bra size refers to the volume uh, of breasts, yeah. but it's not. It's actually the ratio difference between the two measurements that you ah. get. But yeah, and because you are a 31, you size up to the next 
um, even number because mm -hmm. bra sizes come in even number. Um, so you would be a 32 double D. So with that in mind, we know that when it comes to sports bras, there are lots of different requirements for different people. If, for example, you've had a mastectomy or reconstructive surgery, then that throws another element into the mix for consideration for what's right for you. So I caught up with friend of the running channel, author and breast cancer survivor, Emma Campbell, who's given us her top tips from her own experiences. So first of all, could you just introduce yourself with your name and what you do, please? My name's Emma Campbell and I'm a, a writer, um, a columnist for Women's Running Magazine, um, a speaker and I live with secondary breast cancer. Emma, thank you so much for chatting to me today. Um, I know that you you love your running and, um, you know, we, we met through Celebrate You. Um, yes. And yes. so I thought who better to talk to about this really important topic than yourself um, with your your own personal experience. So when it comes to, to sports bras for women who've been through a, a mastectomy, I mean, that must be a huge consideration for you to get Yeah, I mean, on many levels post mastectomy or any kind of, you know, surgery, but specifically post mastectomy, there's trepidation, isn't there? You know, you've kind of been through a major procedure and you kind of got that physical and emotional recovery. Um, I was very, I had my first mastectomy 11 years ago and then I had another one two years ago. So two years ago when I had, I had the other one, the second one, I was very much, that's, that's, you know, I'd established myself. My love for running had really taken hold. So I, w I was itching to get back. I just knew that the minute I could get back out there, I'd start to really feel like me again and kind of like I'd, I could start to put, put that latest challenge behind me. Um, post surgery obviously goes without saying you need to speak to your surgeon your doctor and everything and follow that advice but really you know once a few weeks have passed as long as your stitches are out and you any drains that you've got have been removed you really can start to to think about getting back out there and just taking it nice and easily but the most important things i think are the kind of access and that you know the feeling of possible lack of flexibility and stiffness so the front zip bra rather than having to do this or kind of ah. Oh, pulling over your head, even now, 11 years on, on this side, I have a stiff, I mean, I can do what, what I want, but there's a stiffness there. Um, so certainly the kind of, you want the, the front fastening zip bra or hook, hook and eye, but I guess zip in most cases, you want the smooth, you know, smooth, soft, breathable material with no kind of anything that could aggravate sort of stitches that are quite new and sensitive skin. One of the few benefits of having a mastectomy is that actually, you know, you you naturally don't, you're kind of pretty, there's not a lot of movement there, you know? Um, so I felt really secure and kind of held with um, initially two bras, which might sound a, a bit silly, and then going on to a really good sports bra. And yeah, like I say, with the front access. That's a really good tip, actually. I hadn't even thought about the, the front zip because, you yeah. know, it's hard enough whether you've had surgery or not sometimes yeah. getting these sports yeah. bras on. So. Especially because so many sports bras are like, kind of like, uh, you know, by very nature of what they're trying to do, you can feel like you're trying to get into, like, you know, heavy duty sort of inner tube or something. So first up is the Nike Swoosh Icon Clash Bra. Now, as you can see, this comes in sort of quite uh, bold, clashing colours, which I think gives it a kind of vintage feel, uh, which I really like. But if you're someone who's more into sort of plainer, simpler colours, it does come in really simple ones, white, black, things like that, as well as other colours. So do take a look at the Nike website where you can see the full range. Right now the details. So this bra is made using Nike's classic dry fit material. And obviously the aim with that is to keep you dry when you run. Um, when you sort of sweat a lot, a sports bra can get all soggy and heavy and that's obviously a really horrible sensation. So the aim is to stop that happening. Um, another detail that this bra has, often when sports bras are pad padded, they have uh, two different pads which you can take out and then you know maybe lose one. What's really handy with this one is it actually comes in a one piece uh, which does make it easier to keep track of. And the other thing is, because it has that pocket across the sort of whole bra, you could, when in a race, you can put a gel in it. If you're going for a run, you could probably put your key in it. Um, so it's actually quite a handy little bit of storage. 
Nike say that this is a medium support bra. Um, so it does offer some support, especially with the wide band underneath to hold everything in. Um, but there are uh, more higher impact bras available from Nike that can press more. And finally, the sizing. Now, unlike uh, classic bras, this doesn't come in sort of 34C or 36D or whatever. It's a uh, size like extra small, medium, large, etc. But there is a really clear guide on the Nike website where you can put your measurements in and it will tell you the right bra size for you. So my verdict on this, um, I should say kind of full disclosure, I do buy and wear Nike bras a lot. I find them really comfortable. I like the kind of pullover style. Um, I like that they feel very kind of light and simple on. If I go for a run in them, I kind of don't really notice I'm wearing them, which to me is the hallmark of a good running bra. Um, and I really like this feature of having the double layer where you've got the pocket at the front, um, because I do think that is really useful in terms of storage and particularly in races, if you could tuck a gel in, that's always a, a really big bonus. Uh, so for me, definitely a thumbs up. This is the Solidarity bra from Mari. So I absolutely love the fit of this bra. It's so comfortable and it's just as good for a day working and digging out in the garden as it is for going out for a run-in. Now, we spoke to the founder of the company who makes these bras earlier on in this video and she actually mentioned to me about coming up with the design for it by using a number of different belts to try and get the compression right around the chest and you can see that coming through through in the design because you've got these adjustable straps down the side as well as the shoulder straps being adjustable. Now that's not something that I've ever seen on a sports bra before but it is great to have that additional area that you can adjust and also they don't rub so you might feel like because it's right underneath where your arm comes past when you run it might rub but I've not had a problem with that at all. The fastening for this bra at the back is three rows of hook and eye, so you've got extra wiggle room there. And you've also got the option to convert it into a racer back with a little clip as well, if you prefer that kind of style to go with your running vests. So there's no underwire in this and there's no option for additional padding either. Now, I absolutely adore the colour of this sports bra. If you're the kind of person who is happy to go out for a run when it's super hot in just a sports bra, and your shorts obviously, uh, then this is great because it does look a bit like a crop top as well. It's super stylish and I really like the extra added touch with the Copperfield charity logo on the inside of the underband that gives you a little reminder to check your boobs. So next up is Runderwear. Now they have a huge range of different sizes. In fact, there's over 70 of them to choose from. This is their original support Runderbra, and that comes in cup sizes from A through to double D and from band size 32 through to 38. But if you need a larger size than that, there is also the Easy On Runderwear bra, and that comes in cup sizes C through to H and in band sizes 28 through to 40. So onto the details with this one. Um, it is a racer back style, so you do pull it on and off rather than fastening it at the back, but it does still have a kind of fastening at the bottom. And that does make it a lot easier to take off at the end of a really long run, which anyone who's ever felt like they're gonna dislocate their shoulder trying to do that will really appreciate. The straps are adjustable, so you can get like really the right fit for you. Um, and the front bit of the straps has a kind of slight padding to it. Again, that's just kind of for comfort. Um, and you can really sort of feel that as you put it on, it does feel really comfortable. The wide waistband, again, really breathable material, it feels really soft against the skin. Um, and there's some sort of mesh in it, again, to kind of let your skin breathe, not overheat. I think these are all really nice features. Again, um, you don't notice you're wearing it, which is kind of the point of a good sports bra. And I really like this feature of having a little bit of give uh, on the racer back style so that you can really easily take it on or off. The D Plus Max Support from Shock Absorber is for those of us with slightly bigger chests. So this one comes in cup sizes D to H and back sizes 30 to 40. So it offers high impact support. It's got padded straps on it for additional comfort. And also where the hook and eyes are at the back, it's got a little padded section, which is great if you're doing any kind of SNC or yoga that involves lying down so that they don't dig into to your back if you've ever felt that before. It also has a wide and soft underband to it, which is great for breathability 
and avoiding that really awful under boob chafe. I'm not a massive fan of the way that this bra looks, if I'm completely honest, and this is an honest review of our opinions. I much prefer the Ultimate Rum Bra from Shock Absorber. And in fact, there is a quiz on Shock Absorber's website that asks for your style preferences, and the Ultimate Rum Bra did come out as the top one for me. Right, so next up is the Brooks Dare Crossback Run Bra. Now, as the name suggests, it's got a cross back. It's actually quite an unusual feature because normally pullover style bras, which this is, have a racer back, but this one has a cross back. If that's a feature that you like, clearly it's the bra for you. It comes in a pretty wide range of sizes. It comes through from an A to an E cup and from a 30 band size through to a 40. So this is another high impact bra, perfect for running. And it's got what Brooks call a distraction free look. Now, um, what they mean by that is it's actually a very simple design. It's just kind of one molded piece of material. There's no removable cups or anything. It's just sort of all built into design and it kind of hugs your body and you're supposed to just forget about it as you run. Uh, it's got a kind of breathable material Material, again to kind of keep you dry on the run and it just kind of sits against the skin there's no real seams to it as well so uh, less risk of chafing particularly on a long run now I think this bra kind of doesn't look like a very exciting bra but it's fantastic I really love the way that it feels uh, the lack of seams just means it sits really nicely against your skin it's so comfortable the minute you put it on and you completely forget about it on the run and then unlike some bras sometimes I find you finish the run and then you're suddenly aware of it because it's hot and sweaty and you just want to get it off and change and get in the shower this one I feel really does work very well to kind of keep you dry and it's still really comfortable after your run too this is the run times bra from lululemon so this is made specifically for running and gives you high impact support so the material that this is made of is super soft i can't even really describe how soft it feels and it is so comfortable on as well so it does up as a standard hook and eye three rows at the back but the thing that i love about this bra that i haven't seen on many others is that you can unhook the strap so rather than having them just over the shoulder you can cross them over if you prefer to have a crossed back so the lululemon runtimes bra is a little on the pricey side compared to some of the other bras on test but the luxurious feel and the comfortable fit of it i would say is actually well worth it and one other feature for this bra as well is the mesh panel in between the two cups so it's got little air holes in which means that it's just a bit more breathable so if you get a bit of a sweaty chest then like I do it does let the sweat out and just gives you a bit more breathability in that area as well so next up is the true pace high support sports bra from adidas by Stella McCartney now this bra comes in cup sizes a through to double d and band sizes 30 through to 38 it also comes in two colors uh, a more muted black and this very vivid red color now, another really nice thing about this bra is it's actually made from 64% recycled materials, which is great if you want to cut down on plastic waste, which obviously you do. Um, so that's a really nice feature for a bra. So like the Runda bra that we looked at earlier, this is a racer back style, but with the clip at the bottom. So you can undo that and that makes it a lot easier to get on and off. It's kind of a molded style, almost like a kind of piece that, that runs over your body. Um, slight padding, uh, which some people might like. Now, to me, the one kind of drawback, I guess, is that there's quite a lot of material on this bra. The band underneath is really wide. Some people might really like that because it kind of gives you that extra support. I find that makes me feel slightly too hot on the run. Um, for that reason, though, I do really like it as a high impact bra, but maybe for the gym and for classes rather than for running. But that's just me. The Inspire Sports Bra from Bravissimo claims to be super supportive and comfortable. Now, I say claims, because full disclosure on this one, I haven't actually tested it because it's designed for bigger busts and actually doesn't come in my size. So the key features of this bra are that it has a double layer of fabric and the seams are taped inside, which means that they're not sitting against your skin, which reduces the risk of chafing. The straps and the back of the hook and eye are padded and also the underwired cups mean that they separate your boobs so no mono boob look here 
So there's a three hook fastening on these bras in the cup sizes E to G with four hook fastenings for double G to L for additional support. It is worth noting that Bravissimo offer free returns if the fit isn't quite right. They do also offer virtual fittings online and in-person fittings in their stores. Now this is the True Purpose Post Mastectomy Sports Bra by Adidas, again designed by Stella McCartney. Now the most important feature of this bra is that it does up, rather than being pulled on over your head, it does up like a jacket. So you unzip it, put an arm through, put it on around you. Um, there are also little hook and eye fastenings there for security so it isn't just the zip holding it together. It has very soft adjustable straps you can move up and down here. There's a little bit of padding as well. Um, obviously this bra has been designed with the most important thing in mind being comfort and to try and make it uh, as comfortable for women who've had surgery as possible to wear. So this is definitely a high support and high comfort bra. It's got some great details. It's a really soft material, nice against the skin. Has pockets in the front, uh, which can be used for padding or for prosthetics if you want them to be. It's got a, a, a really nice feel to it. It's a breathable material. The sizing for this bra is a little bit different. The band sizing runs from extra, extra small through to large and the cup sizing kind of varies from like an AB to a CD so you should be able to find the right fit for you. So what I really love about this bra is really just the fact that someone's uh, designed it at all, that someone's uh, decided you know it would be really great to have a sports bra for women who've had surgery and want to get back into high impact activities. Having said that, it's also just a really great sports bra. Um, I you know, have been lucky enough not to have surgery, but I find it a brilliant bra for running, super comfortable. Love the fact that it does up at the front because it means um, after a kind of sweaty race or a run, you can actually take it off under your clothes without having to take any layers off, which is great. Um, so I'd actually recommend it for anyone really, whether they've had surgery or not. This is the Artemis Total Comfort Nursing Bra. So again, this isn't one that I've actually tested out, but this is for people who are pregnant or nursing new babies, breastfeeding. So it has some really clever features. So it's got these clips to allow easy access to feed your baby whilst not having to wrestle your sports bra off because that's probably the last thing that you want to do when you need to nurse your baby. It also comes with a strap extender so it's completely detachable but it means that you're able to extend the back size as you go through your pregnancy. So really nice feature there. The straps on this one you can wear straight down or cross back depending on the level of support that you require or prefer and it's also got really soft padded inserts that you can take out if you prefer. So all of the clips have also got padding around them so that they don't rub and cause chafing and the company Natal Active recommend that you buy this in your pre-pregnancy size as it will adjust and stretch as you go through your pregnancy and into breastfeeding and you've got that extendable strap to help as well. So all in all some really lovely features from Natal Active in this bra and it is super soft and I imagine incredibly comfortable. So there we have our roundup of the best sports bras and now it's time we pick our favourite ones which is always so hard to do but for me I'm going to go with the Mari Solidarity sports bra. I love the fit, I love the colour of it, I think the adjustable straps down the side are super clever and it gives you so much support and comfort when you're running so that is my pick. So for me, it would have to be the Brooks bra. Now that actually slightly surprised me because normally I run in mostly in Nike bras and I kind of just assumed I'd like that one best. I did really like it and I also liked pretty much all the bras actually. Um, the special sort of shout out for the Adidas one for all those kind of really considerate features. Um, but this one just had the edge. It's so comfortable. Um, and I think it's just the kind of seamless design, the fact that you completely forget instantly that you're wearing it before and after a run. And that to me is kind of everything a good sports bra should do. 
thanks so much for watching. I hope there's been some useful tips in there for you and maybe you've spotted a sports bra that you would like to give a go as well. Or maybe you have your go-to sports bra already and we didn't include it in this list. Let us know in the comments as well as if you've got any questions and we will see you next time on The Running Channel.